Welcome to this lecture on section 20a, the ring fencing of assessed losses. So before we start, I would like to advise you to please go and revise section 20. Section 20 is the section that has to do with assessed losses. Now, just as a reminder, what is an assessed loss? An assessed loss is when your income, so gross income, less exempt income, gives us income, is less than the deductions that you've claimed. So let's say you've had income of 100,000 and you claimed deductions of 120,000. That would mean that there's a 20,000 rands assessed loss. Now, if this was year one of uh, your tax, in year two, if your income was 100,000 and let's say you had 60,000 rands deductions, that 20,000 can then come and be deducted in year two against your taxable income. Now, when we are looking at a natural person, it's important to understand that the natural person is able to deduct assessed losses from different trades against each other. So, as an example, Mr. A earns a salary and on weekends he also carries on a business selling food. If he makes a loss from the business selling food, he can deduct that loss against the income from his salary. If Section 20A is applicable, however, then he may not do that. So let's just see this as an example down here quickly. So a natural person earns a salary and also carries on a separate trade. So he has a save of 2 million and from this separate trade, so let's say this little business that he runs on the side, he makes 150,000 rands assessed loss. Now, if Section 20A does not apply, then he is allowed to deduct that 150,000 rands, the loss, against the taxable income of the 2 million. So that makes the taxable income 1.85 million. However, if Section 20A does apply, then that loss of 150,000 is ring fenced. Now, what ring fenced means, means you can only deduct that loss against future income from that same trade. You can't deduct it against your other income. So if you see here, the difference is the salary is 2 million is still the same, but now the loss is ring fenced, but the taxable income is then 2 million. So can you see the difference in the two taxable incomes? It's because that 150,000 rands is allowed to be deducted if it's not ring fenced, but if it is ring fenced, it is allowed to be deducted. Uh, it's not allowed to be deducted. So what does it mean if it's ring fenced? It means that if this was year one of this business, that 150,000, if in year two that trade now has, let's say, 200,000 rand taxable income, you can deduct that 150,000 rands, but only against that trade. If in the next year that trade also has a 200,000 rands loss again, then it means now 350,000 rands will potentially be ring fenced and that will be carried forward to the next year. But you will not be allowed to deduct that 150,000 against your salary if it is ring fenced. So that's what section 20A1 tells us. It says, where the circumstances in subsection 2 apply during any year of assessment in respect of a trade carried on by a natural person, so see a trade by a natural person, any assessed loss incurred during that year in carrying on that trade right, may not be set off against income of that person otherwise than from carrying on that trade. So remember, so they're basically saying if you make this trade, you can't deduct that loss against other income, other trades, if Section 20A applies.